Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and hopefully today we are going to beat the Lamborghini LM002 on our rally course. <laughs> Now, before we get into today's video, I just want to do a little bit of advertising, um, actually, for my own Discord channel. Um, if you guys want to get involved, actually, with the Moldy Room Gaming channel, you want to feature in some of my videos, I'm ac actually looking for some people to race against in Forza, make videos with on GT Online, um, play with on SnowRunner. So if that's something you'd be interested in and um, you want to actually feature in my videos, then make sure you join up to Club 75. It is my own personal Discord channel created by my friend Rin. So thank you very much, Rin, if you are watching this video. Um, she helped me set it up. And uh, we've got loads of different racing game options in there. We've got Forza Horizon 5. We've got GTA 5. Uh, we've got SnowRunner, we've got Farming Simulator, we've got uh, Gran Turismo. So if you are a car person and you'd like to feature in some of my videos, or you just want to um, chat with me about a different game, anything like that, then make sure you actually go and check out my Discord channel, join up in there, and um, hopefully we can get a little bit of a community going. I know quite a lot of you view my videos and you enjoy them, so if you want to get involved, then by all means, or even if you just want to hang out, that is fine as well. But today we are actually taking the Ford Bronco R. This is the um, uh, one of the vehicles you get to drive in some of the prologue missions, so you might recognize it from that. And I was quite impressed with how the thing handled in the prologue missions. It has the off-road race tyre compound as standard, and that cannot be changed, the same as the Lamborghini. It's also all-wheel drive, the same as the Lamborghini. It's a big old unit of a vehicle, and it has quite a lot of engine swaps available. So, let's see what we can actually do with this thing in the custom shop. Um, I already have a few... Uh, ideas of things that we're going to do with this vehicle now if you haven't seen this series before basically we uh, take a number of different vehicles whether they're all-wheel drive two-wheel drive or front-wheel drive down a specialized rally course um, that I made myself and obviously we we try to set a good fast time and so far the Lamborghini LM002 has been our reigning champion actually since the second episode so I've been trying to find a vehicle that can beat the Lamborghini and I'm hoping that the Bronco R is going to be able to do that. Now the vehicle comes standard with uh, all wheel drive but if you want to know you can do a rear wheel drive swap. All the vehicles in this series must keep their stock drivetrain, that is one of the rules. The only other rule we have is that they must be upgraded to S1 class. So the Ford Bronco sets off in C class, but I know for a fact that you can get this thing up to S1 class. Um, we could go ahead and put on some spotlights. I think we'll do that. It adds a little bit more weight, but I'm hoping that that will actually help us. It'll give us a little bit more traction. The thing is already quite a unit of a vehicle. Now, there is no uh, tyre uh, swaps for this thing, as you can see. You can make the tyre width larger, which I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, but it actually comes standard with the um, off-road race tyre compound, which is really, really nice because that's what we want. Uh, then we'll go ahead and throw in the six-speed um, manual and we'll go with the rally two-way diff. Uh, we'll go for full brakes and as much weight reduction as the PI allows. In this case, full weight reduction is the only option and the PI does allow it. Um, I forgot to mention as well that we did slap on the turbos, I'm sure you noticed it. But there we go, we are up into S1 class. It's not quite as high as some of the other vehicles in S1 class. Um, I started off this series saying that it had to be the top of S1 class, but some of the vehicles just can't quite get there. So I've just gone ahead and decided that actually S1 class is high enough. 
Um, so this thing just makes it into S1 class, which fills the criteria. It has 1,356 horsepower, 1,021 pound-feet of torque. Uh, the thing weighs uh, over two tons, so it is a big, big vehicle. I mean, the spare tyres in the back alone probably weigh uh, about as much as, you know, like a classic Mini or something. And we've got the 7.5 litre racing V8 in there with two twin turbos strapped to it. So what I'm going to do now is a little bit of tuning. I'm going to paint the vehicle because I'm not overly fond of this paint job. And I will meet you guys at the rally course. All right, here we go for our first run in the Ford Bronco R. Now, early predictions, I think this thing is going to be very, very good um, against the Lamborghini. If it cannot beat the Lamborghini's time, it's going to be right up there alongside it. Now, because we are trying to beat the Lamborghini, I thought it was fitting to go for this Red Bull Racing livery, the same as we had on the Lamborghini. Now, you might be saying this is a little bit of an unfair advantage to the Bronco. It is a specially designed off-road racing machine. Well, the fact that the Lamborghini put down such a quick time, I feel like we have to resort to cheating actually just to beat that thing's time. And those of you who have been following the series since the start will know how good the Lamborghini is. No vehicles we have driven so far have managed to beat that thing. So I'm hoping that the Bronco here is going to do something about that. Already, my, uh, my feeling of this vehicle, it feels very stable. I can keep my foot in it around these corners where in other vehicles I'm having to brake. Now coming into the hairpin, let's see what the Bronco does about this absolutely beautiful through there this thing has quite a lot of steering lock which is unusual for an off-road vehicle but it is actually favorable on a course like this we've got tight corners we've got hairpins and uh, we've got a few nice little water splashes in there as well obviously the weight of this thing it weighs over two tons so that is not a bad thing through the water splashes it sails through there like a boat now coming up to this corner, this is the worst corner on the course to get right, so let's see what the Bronco does about that. A little dab on the brakes and just going cautious for our first run. This is only our first run, every vehicle will get three runs. So we just need to put down a good benchmark in the Bronco here. We're already up to the two minute mark, let's see what we can do down the hill. That was the Lamborghini's time there, so let's see what the Bronco can actually put down. It's a 2 minute 10 second 0.397. So that is not a shabby first attempt there. A lot of areas for improvement there. I could have been braver in places. We've got two more runs to try and beat the Lamborghini. I have every confidence the Bronco can do it. We've got two more runs. Let's see what we can do with them. All right, here we go for run number two. I'm just going to go all out on this run. We have got another run if we cock this one up, and we've already put down a very, very good lap time. So let's just see what we can do when we go full chat in the Bronco. This thing is an off-road racing machine at the end of the day. Lock the brakes up a little bit into that corner. was probably not favorable, but the Bronco does handle it well. Pulls us out of the corner nicely. Through the second water splash there a little bit slow into that corner i was a little bit hard on the brakes could have been a little bit braver through there i'm gonna try and not brake as much on this run and actually just lift off the throttle i'm thinking that uh, keeping the momentum might actually be the way to go here and obviously the bronco a very stable machine so it has the ability to sort of coast around the corners if you will little bit of a twitch on the exit there but nothing terrible it soaks up the bumps through there beautifully compared to any of the other vehicles we've seen run through this course so far now coming into the hairpin ran it in third gear last time and i think that's where we want it absolutely smashing through there all right coming down the second straight here can get a little bit bumpy on there but the bronco handles that nicely into the two right handers and then we're on up the hill. I think this is already faster than our previous run. It does feel faster. I'm not watching the clock on this run. 
Now this corner can also be quite hard to get right if you are not concentrating. A little bit on the rev limiter there, could have shifted a little bit earlier. Maybe we wanted to keep it through fourth actually in there. I'm going to switch down to third for that corner. Now the gearing in the Bronco is not quite right for this course. I've done my best to tune the vehicle but in places it needs to be third but then as soon as you pull out it is on that rev limiter. So not the easiest car to drive but let's see what we can do on the run downhill that was the lamborghini's time there it is faster than our previous run by three whole seconds a 207.494 so we literally have two more seconds to shave off that time to beat the lamborghini this is going to come down to the wire i'm getting a much better feel for the bronco i know i can be braver in places still and uh, we had a little twitch coming through one of the corners so if i can keep it all together for this run we are going to have ourselves a new champion all right our third and final run in the bronco let's see what we can do with this baby hopefully we can get this thing down the course cleanly for once We've been putting down some good lap times so far, but I have every faith that the Bronco has a little bit more to give just now. Turning it in early for that corner, a little bit of a slide through there. We're sliding a little bit more on this run than the previous two. Not sure where that's suddenly coming from. Let's see what we can do up the hill here though. Hitting the rev limiter through the water there. This does feel faster though. Alright, coming up to the right hander, we actually got a little bit of air time there. I don't know many of the vehicles have been getting air time through that corner. Slowing it down for this corner. I'm just going to coast round there in fourth. And that was absolutely beautiful. Down the straight section here, changing up to fifth. Little change down to fourth there, a little pop of the exhaust, beautiful. Alright, I'm going to leave it in for third for the hairpin here. Let's see what we can do on the exit. The Bronco pulls us out of the corner, absolutely beautiful. Those two twin turbos working nicely. Third gear through the two right-handers here. And then up the hill, the Bronco has been hitting 120 up the hill here which is faster than most of the vehicles that run this course, which is quite impressive actually. We probably wanted fourth gear through there. That is going to cost us a little bit of time. Now I'm going to run it wide on the entrance, cut in the apex and then shallow on the exit. Hopefully that has picked up a little bit of time. I'm going to change down to fourth for these last couple of corners. We are sailing through this course beautifully. If nothing else, the Bronco feels tremendous. Now on the run down the hill, this is where it's going to come down to the wire. Unfortunately, it's not quite going to beat the Lamborghini across the line at a 207.561. Let's go to the leaderboard. But luckily, the Bronco, the purpose-built off-road racing machine, Put on a very, very good show there. A 207.494 puts the thing in fourth place. Sadly, we could not knock the Lamborghini off its podium position for another week. So I'm going to have to do some more searching, some more digging around to find something that will. And still the Land Rover Defender is our closest rival to the uh, Lamborghini. A 206.793. That was from a couple of episodes. That thing put on a very, very impressive show as well. As well as the Rally Spec Focus RS. That thing put on an amazing show in our first episode and actually set the benchmark for many of the vehicles to follow. So, unfortunately, the Bronco is not even going to get a deserved podium victory here. It is going to be a fourth place, but... It came down very closely to the wire. I have no doubt that the Bronco could easily hang with the Lamborghini in a race situation. And you could get a lot of victories with this thing. It rides absolutely beautifully over the bumps. You don't even feel the bumps compared to some of the lower sports cars that we've run. But that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. I apologise that videos have been a little far and few between in the last couple of weeks. 
I am actually uh, doing assignments right now for university, so I'm going to try and keep up the rally series for you guys, but the other videos are going to be on hold just until I finish this university year. Hopefully you guys understand, and then in the summer I intend to start picking up the videos again. But thanks all so much for watching, I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you in the next episode.